uh, here at the G Flat Cemetery, uh, just outside of Bath, New Brunswick. Uh, it is October 20th, 2017, and uh, we're just going to take a little trip through, and I'm going to give you a little history lesson the best I can remember as I do it. Um, the cemetery is not on a road. What I'm actually on here is the old railroad railroad line, which is now abandoned, uh, that went between Fredericton and Perth Andover, and it was completed, I believe, between 1873 or 1874 is when the railroad line went through. Um, this land was originally granted to Cornelius G, who was a United Empire Loyalist. Um, I do not think that the homestead was here on the flat. I believe the homestead was uh, probably up on the hill up there somewhere. Uh, the front row of headstones that we're at coming to right now this is the older part of the cemetery. These are all the merchants. And these are probably several of the oldest stones that are actually in the cemetery. Uh, this is Sarah the Merchant, wife of Robert the Merchant, um, and their children, Benjamin, right over here, Robert, their son, Robert Jr., Robert, Sarah, their son Frederick and his wife Marinda. Um, this is John M. De Merchant. Uh, as you can probably see, as I always like to say, that the, you can see that there's actually more of a, another row in behind this row of uh, uh, headstones. But um, oh, and I just see something over here by the old apple tree. Is there's the footstones for. There's older markers here as well, along the front, and the gray, and then there's another headstone over here, um, Mason, son of Alfred and Sarah de Merchant. Um, if I were to think about it, I would say that probably John Cuffman, the original de Merchant, is probably buried somewhere in this part of the cemetery. It's a complete guess, and I say it based on the fact that uh, his son George is located right here, and then there's an unmarked uh, metal marker here. Um, George's brother is Robert, who is buried over there. And I would say that where George died in 1868, I believe it is, um, in this general area here towards the woods somewhere would probably be where, or maybe even towards the railroad track where John and Mary Demerchant would be buried. There's more Demerchants here. Way over here in the far corner, this is George G and George was hung in Woodstock for the murder of his cousin, Millie. Um, and I can see that somebody has actually come down with water and has actually cleaned George's headstone because this was the last time I was here a couple of weeks ago. It was very, very dark. So somebody has taken the time and has actually cleaned the old limestone which is very nice. His, the person that he murdered was Millie G, and Millie is buried right here by Henry and Elma. Somebody has really taken the time to actually clean these headstones, and I think I know who that person is. Uh, he's just a young fella, and uh, he's actually on Find a Grave, and he actually had a stone here. I bet you he's going to probably do something to actually mark where Millie's buried. We know that uh, George was buried beside Millie and Alma was buried beside Millie as well. Alma would be Millie's sister, but she would be buried right there. 
I always found it funny. This is the old road, the old access to the cemetery is right here. This old road is just about grown up completely. I don't even know if you could find it where it would actually start out by the Hallett Road, but, and perfectly behind me is the beautiful St. John River. Um, we're going back in towards the newer part of the cemetery now. And I say newer in the sense that there are some more recent burials towards this part, but these are still older parts. This is uh, Esther, wife of Norman. I actually just took a photograph of, uh, of a picture of Esther and Norman just today. Hallets and Brewers. Albert and Rachel de Merchant. There's actually more de Merchants in here than there is any other name. War veteran Milford. Dayton. Evelyn. Uh, she was a de Merchant, and Robert's mother was a de Merchant. Richard Wallace and his wife Esther. This would be a the only daughter of Robert Sarah that were buried at the front of the cemetery. There are a few G's that are buried here. And this is the this is the the more I guess newer to a certain extent uh, part of the cemetery. And that is a tour of the G Cemetery.